Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Tips and Tricks and today we are talking a little bit about photo storage and um, I would like to start with showing you a little bit about our page for decks. Oh, let's start with the albums. Normally if you have photos you put them on pages and then um, those pages go on an album and we have two different kinds. We have the ring bound and we have the old traditional post postbound whatever is your preference i like the ring bound because if i got something out of order or i want to add something to my album it's really easy to open put the new page in and um, close it up again while these ones you have to unscrew and well you know these are the main colors we have currently in the book and then we have a few specialty albums, which is an eight and a half by 11, a six by six, a six by eight, and another 12 by 12 every day. And I have that one here, the blue one, which is our blue bell, which is super pretty. They're a little bit thinner than um, our regular albums that you see here, but I think they're perfect. They have a three ring bind, um, um, system and that's the only way they come so um i hope you can see this but i really like this color it's a pretty album they're really nice and sturdy so um that's usually what i use especially for trips um that we went on to because it's not too big it's just the right size to get your pages in there okay stay there now the next thing we might want to quick talk about is page protectors and close to my heart has um, a really nice and sturdy page protector and if you have never seen ours and never worked with ours um, they're really great as you can see here they're really not flimsy they're nice and sturdy quality um, they do tend to be a little bit longer um, than your regular page protector simply because they have this extra strip here and sometimes you might wonder and go like well, what is oh, let me turn it this way what's with that extra strip well this one is the one that goes over your holes or your posts and then normally what would happen was when you flip through your album your pages would bend right here at that crease right so depending on how many pages you have in there and how thick your book is that kind of puts an extra stress on your pages having this extra strip in the middle here prevents that from happening because when you're having a really tight album all the way packed what happens is the pages don't try to crease right here or bend over they're doing it right here so you take a lot of stress and off your pages and really makes a difference and like I said the nice thing is they're nice and super sturdy and I know from customers of mine that use different albums um, they work with other albums too so just keep that in mind so these are the regular 12 by 12 page protectors they come top loaded or side loaded I like the top loaded ones but again that's individual preference um, we also have and I hope it's not light is not interfering too much we also have the eight and a half by 11 so if you want to do a smaller um, album which more and more comes back into style um, these work with the smaller albums that I showed you here which have the colors uh, ballerina and charcoal charcoal is like a grayish type and then we have our pocket um, page protectors and they're divided um, so these ones come in four by six in a vertical vertical uh, orientation we have a four by six horizontal we have a mixture and what you do is pretty much you have these compartments so you can just put in a picture you can put in a journaling block some paper all sorts of different things here's an example it's kind of cute so you can put pictures in, you can mat your pictures, and it just makes it for an easier and quicker um, assembly of and storytelling in your book. Um, on the next page, we have a couple more. This is for six by eight, which 
um, there are a few more colors to choose from. So we have the julep, which is like a greenish uh, tone, um, sagey. Uh, we have sapphire, black, and red. Right now, the candy wrap, candy apple, candied apple. Jeez, I need more coffee. And um, they also have the plain ones where you just put your pages um, on the top end. Or we have the divided one, so where you have little compartments, pretty much. And you can see here in an example, this is one page, and then here's one that has the 4x3, which is also great and quick and easy to do. And these books, same thing, they all come as a ring binder. This is for our mini albums, the 6x6. And then we come to something special that Close to My Heart is known for. And let's talk about the flip flaps first. What are flip flaps? No, there's nothing you put on your shoes, uh, on your feet. Um, this is something to add extra photo storage on your pages. Sometimes uh, we have just too many pictures and we don't want to add an extra page in there or we don't have enough to put an extra page in there. But we still have like one or two pictures we would like to um, add to um, a layout. And how do we do this? So we have what is called flip flaps and they come in different sizes. So this one, for example, is a six by 12, which means it, here's my page protector. And I use just the, this one here to show you because it's got a colored background. So here we go. Let's say this is our page and we have a few extra um, pictures we want to add or maybe some invitation, something that we want to keep and want to add to it. So a uh, 6 by 12 pretty much is half the size. And this is another pocket. So what you do is you pretty much um, use another 6 by 12 paper, add your photos, your memorabilia, Remember, it is two-sided, so you can put stuff on this side and you can st put stuff on this side. And then this one is a adhesive strip. And no, it doesn't stay white. It's just the white is piece of the part that you tear off and there's a super sticky adhesive on here. And what I like to do is, this is the opening of my flap. I like to close it this way. The adhesive is on this side now on this little flap here. And then you remove the white strip and now you have the choice. You can put this, for example, on the top here on your page protector. You can put it on the bottom of your page protector. If you want to, you can put it in the middle towards the bottom. And once it is adhered, it stays. So make sure when you put it down, you have a nice flat surface you're working on. Because once these things stick down, they stick down. And as you can see, they fit really exactly on our 12 by 12 pages and protectors. So if this is adhered, then it would open this way. So you have a, not only an interactive um, page, but you also have extra for storage here and here. Naturally, you can do this also vertically. So you can adhere them to this side. Let's say we put it down on this side, so it opens here. So you have items on this side, items on this side. You can put it on this side as well, just the way you need it. And the nice thing, they're as sturdy as our own page protectors are. And I know if you have the regular ones, sometimes you get in the store, they're a little bit flimsy. So be aware if you use those, I wouldn't recommend putting it up here because that might be too heavy and it might tear this part. Uh, if you do it on the middle here, or on the bottom, that might be okay. The sides for sure is okay because then it distributes the weight over the whole page. But this is a whole half extra 12 by 12 page. And you get, how many are in one set? You get 12 pieces in one set, so that goes a long way. But sometimes we also have smaller pictures. So let me flip this over. And I know it's a Christmas um, 
<laughs> well, Christmas coming, right? Almost there again. Um, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So let's say this is a nub page protector. And I don't want to cover up all this nice um, design work that is up here. But I would like to add maybe another picture in here. A 4x12. 4x6. So now we talk about these smaller page uh, flip flaps. So this is a 4x6 package. This is a 3x4. And this is a 2x2. And they come in sizes, and I show you in a catalog in a second, in all different sizes. But these are the, the most common ones, a 4x6 and um, 3x4. Maybe a 5x7 too. And you get them, there are six of each in there. These have the adhesive on the top. On the short side, these have the adhesive on the long side. So in this case, because you could use either or, but let's see. So here's my extra storage. So I can put two photos in here if I wanted to. One facing this way, one facing the other way. The white strip is my adhesive. I would bend this over again. Here's my opening. I always bend mine over this way. And then you would adhere it directly on your page protector over the, page, the picture that you want to add extras to it. So once this is adhered, Anybody who's looking through your book can actually just take it, open it, so they see a picture here, they open it, they have a picture here, or journaling, and then they see another picture here. You will not see that white strip because it is clear, so once it ad is adhered, it's pretty much invisible. So that is one way. You can use these flip flaps, same size, but they open on the side. Um, there's the opening, so I would turn those and put them this way. You could do that too and have them open that way. And um, some people actually um, take multiple ones. Let me see. For example, you put one here, you take another one and adhere it on top. So you actually can put a little extra booklet on top of your page protector. So this is what our little flip flaps are being used for. And like I said, they come in different sizes. And here you can see a two by two, three by three, three by four, four by four, four by six, five by seven, which is all our photo sizes or paper, regular paper size that we use. There's the six by 12. And a new one is the 8 by 12. So 8 by 12 pretty much would mean um, you have like this much on the page left, which is a really big flap. But sometimes you have a, uh, I don't know, from graduation of paper work you want to um, document, you want to keep, or something bigger that you don't want to cut down. So they work well. So this is another size that you can have. And one other really cool um, extra we have now for a couple of years is the Pocket Plus. And Pocket Plus pretty much is uh, for your picture of my life or your photos. There are 4x6 and 3x4s. They come in different designs. Here you have uh, three 4x6s. Here you have two 4x6s. And then here you have four 3x4s. Um, and this one has six 3x4s. And what they do is, again, like the flip flaps, they're double sided. So going back to this layout, um, let's say we have these two in our, cat, in our book. Let's put them in the book so you can see how they work. We're taking our nice blue book and I know it will not show all the way in the picture but the middle part is the part that you want to see okay so this would be my normal layout but now i decided well you know i have found a couple extra pictures that i don't know what to do with but i would like to get them on here um so how do i fill them in well this is when these pocket plus um editions come in handy and um they have pockets right here in this case and 
I just put paper in, but you can put your photos on top here. You could journaling, anything. You can put smaller photos. Um, what do you want? And the nice thing now with the ring album, I just open them. I push this in and I close it up. So when you're going through your album and you open this page and you go like, oh, nice pictures. And then, oh, there's extra ones. And you flip around, you have an extra one. And then you have this side. So um, sometimes this is a nice extra storage. Like I said, this would give you six extra four by sixes without creating a whole new page. Or if you have some really nice um, pages that you created and you go like, well, you know, it's nice, but I only have those few little pictures that I can put in. I would like to have something more um, to show of my pictures. This is a nice way to add extra photo storage to your pages. And um, these are really, really great, depending on what pictures you have. So it's always good to have one or two different sizes on hand. And like I said, those are the common ones that I've been used a lot. So design one is three horizontal four by six. Design two is um, two vertical four by six. And each of them contains 10 of these in one um, package. Um, here we have, that is a six by 12. So that's half of, it would cover half of the page. Uh, it's also 10 and it's six vertical three by fours. And then we have another 10 um, three by fours, but these are horizontal. And um, like I said, they give you really some nice extra photo storage um, to work with. So these are the elements if you decide to um, work with some extra photos and you don't wanna create an extra page for it. Um, these flip flaps, I can't tell you every crop I go to, they're just flying out the door. People love them. They're nice and sturdy and you can put them everywhere. So going back to our page here, if I wanted to, and I'm like, oh gosh, this is not enough. I can even add one on top here if I wanted to and create an extra one. You can do, let's say this one here. I have a couple more. Well, then you take your three by four and see this three by four fits right on top on this one. And here's the opening. There's the adhesive strip, you remove it, you put it on top here and then you have another flap to open. Super easy, super quick. You can cover this one. So you technically, you can put three on each of those and you have another three and then the back side another three. So you can put a total of nine pictures on here with just three extra flaps. If you have questions about these or you would like to know more what varieties are available and what you can do with them, uh, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. If you have used them before, leave me a comment and let me know how you like them. Um, if you have used these before in the Pocket Plus, let me know. Otherwise, um, give it a try. This is really a cool addition to your regular scrapbookings and they're nice and flat and have the same system than our big uh, page protectors and let me know how this works for you there is a different way to add more pictures into your books and to make pages a little bit more exciting this is a i know it's a fall layout but um this makes it the easiest way to explain for example, if I um, have extra journaling or hidden journaling that I don't want to show, or I have extra pictures that I don't want to have up front, but still wanted to be able to access them. Well, one thing is if they're in a page protector, um, you can't really get to them unless you have our flip flops sitting on top. But what you could do, if you put this on a page protector, and you see that upper row? Well, this one is accessible from the top here, right? So you can get to anything inside here if it sticks out on top here. 
And what I sometimes do is I, um, instead of adhering, let's say these three squares flat to um, the page, I use some foam tape and I just put a thin strip around these sides, creating pockets. So these three would be raised a little bit and there's a little pocket behind. Now I can make um, a little tag or something that sticks out on top here and maybe with a ribbon or something. So, you know, you can pull it out and that can contain extra photos, extra um, journaling, some memorabilia, some tickets, stubs, anything you uh, might want to preserve or show off. And um, so this is just an extra way of adding more pictures to your pages if you're running out of room. Um, you can do this with a 4x6. Um, these are 4x4s, I think. Let me see. 3.5x3.5. Uh, three three so um, you can do this with any size on top here. Just an idea. That is one of the easier ways. There are other ways um, where you can actually cut into your page protector to keep an opening so you can access those areas. But um, for me, you don't want to make it too complicated. And I can show how this works um, in one of the other videos at one point in time. So if you're interested, let me know if you want to know more about um, how to create extra um, photo storage on your pages. Uh, this is one way. These are some other ways. And um, if you look through the catalog, this is all in the core catalog, page 92 till 95. And yes, just let me know if you have questions and I hope you enjoy this and try it out because there's a really cool access to put on your pages and to create some more interest when going through your album. Um, that is it for today. Uh, I hope you have a nice weekend. Um, to all moms out there, happy Mother's Day on Sunday. And I will see you back here next Friday. Thanks. Bye-bye.